to UE5 BP Guru. As you can see, the project is starting to take a little bit more shape. We're starting to set up our trainers. Uh, we're making a little bit of a makeshift route that we can kind of run around um, to get a bit more of a kind of Pokemon Temtem-esque feel to it. Um, but I wanted to cover off another little simple thing. As I was kind of putting this route together, um, you might find in your game <clears throat> you have kind of um, areas where you don't want your player to go. For example, I'm trying to start to block off the uh, visual side of this, um, but obviously my player can walk through the trees and leave the route. Now, you don't want people to be able to go out of bounds like this. Um, so the best way to do that is to create a collision box. And I thought it would just be a very simple tutorial on how to set this up in your game. All you need to do is go into Blueprint class, create a new actor, call it whatever you want. I've called one down here out of bounds. You want to add a box collision to it. Uh, and that's all you need. But what you do need to do is select your collision box, come on to the right hand side here. We want to make sure generate overlap events are on true. We want to make sure the character cannot step on top of it. And we also want to make sure the collision preset is set to block all because we don't want anything to enter this bounds. So we can now drag this out. You might need to reshape it as at the moment it is very small, but to make it the entire length of your route. For now, I'm just gonna do this little section that I was working on. Drag it into the middle and obviously shape it accordingly and move it up. Now, that should be good. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. I don't want them to basically be able to step off of this um, path here into the bush at all. So let's drag it in a bit. Do that. Uh, there you go. That looks about right. And just for the sake of this, I'm going to make sure it goes above the bushes. Just so I know it's definitely tall enough. Now when we press play, we can go through over to here and we shouldn't be able to leave the area now you need to make sure that um you know for example if i keep walking eventually i'm gonna be able to walk around it now i'm not gonna be able to get back but obviously make it sure it's the entirety of your route but yeah it should be simple enough for you to be able to stop any players getting to areas that you don't want them to hopefully you found this useful it's a very small short simple tutorial today um but yeah, it's as simple as that. The next thing coming is our um, updated encounter route. And of course, we're going to be including trainers within that. Uh, I will also probably look at uh, simplifying our encounter code and our um, selecting starter code. But that will be even further down the line. For the next section of code we're going to be looking at is setting up the encounter, reforming our counter code and adding trainers in amongst that. It will be a very hefty episode, but hopefully you found this useful. Very, very short one today. But um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found it useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button uh, if, you've, if you found this useful. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.